Would you like to ski Antarctica? Get you snowed under with work? Do you dream of a vacation at the bottom of the ocean? But you can't float the bill? Have you always wanted to climb the mountains of Mars? But now you're over the hill? Then come to Recall Incorporated, where you can buy the memory of your ideal vacation cheaper, safer, and better than the real thing. So don't let life pass you by. Call Recall for the memory of a lifetime. Welcome to the frontier of filmmaking. Carol Co. presents Total Recall, the long-awaited science fiction thriller coming this summer. Total Recall is directed by Paul Verhoeven and stars Arnold Schwarzenegger with Rachel Ticketon, Sharon Stone, Ronnie Cox, and Michael Ironside. Set in the year 2084, the film tells the story of a man who discovers he is not who he thinks he is. As his reality shatters around him, he journeys to Earth's oppressed colonies on Mars to solve the mystery of his identity. You son of a bitch. You're alive. I thought that Cohagen tortured you to death. Well, I guess he didn't. And you couldn't get me a message? You never even wondered what happened to me? How's it, thank God, you're alive? Melina, Melina, hmm? Melina, I've got to tell you something. What? I don't remember you. What are you talking about? I don't remember you. I don't remember us. I don't even remember me. Although it's a complete action movie, it's, it's all about action and special effects, and it's a real Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Hello, I'm Johnny Cap. Where can I take you tonight? Drive! Drive! Would you please repeat the destination? Go oh, anywhere, just go, go! Please state a street and number. Oh, shoot, shoot! I'm not familiar with that address. On the other hand, it has a second level, which has to do with the mind, and what is real for the mind and not. Based on concepts created in 1966 by legendary science fiction writer Philip K. Dick in his story, I Can Remember It For You Wholesale, producer Ron Shusett, who co-wrote both Alien and Total Recall, has fashioned an exciting and complex plot that manages to question reality at every turn. It constantly is deceiving the audience as to what's real and what isn't. And yet, I don't think it's esoteric because you, you, you are not confused. You are seduced into thinking something's one way, and then we reverse it. Director Paul Verhoeven, whose acclaimed motion pictures include Soldier of Orange and The Fourth Man, first entered the realm of science fiction with the 1987 smash hit Robocop. For Total Recall, Verhoeven has reassembled Robocop's team of cutting-edge artists and technicians, all innovators in the science fiction and action film genres, including Academy Award-nominated cinematographer Jos Vocano, production designer William Sandell, and Academy Award-nominated special makeup and animatronics effects creator Rob Bottin. Joining them on this production is conceptual artist Ron Cobb of Star Wars, Aliens, and the Abyss, with special visual effects by Dream Quest Images of Scrooge, The Abyss, and The Lost Boys. It is the creative team's job to devise a believable future for Total Recall's story, complete with colonies on other planets and spaceships that shuttle to Earth and back. By working with Bill Sindel, the production designer, we took his approach to the future, which is the future on Mars, as you can see it from the designs here, is a certain look. And then we continue that into the effects, taking into account what the script calls for in terms of the dramatics, in terms of the uh, views of Mars that cannot be created on the set. And then what we do is we work hand in hand. Mars is, in this film, dictated by what needs to happen there.
In March 1989, Verhoeven and his crew invaded the Churubusco Studios in Mexico City. For five months, they took over every inch of the cavernous facility, creating more than 40 mammoth sets on all 10 sound stages. Overseeing three separate film units, Verhoeven created two vastly different worlds of the future. The barren, air-starved Martian colonies are actually modeled after NASA's own projected settlements on Mars. What we do is an extrapolation of what NASA is thinking for the next 20 years, only we pushed it much for, further forward to the next 100 years. Makeup effects creator Rob Bottin developed a whole new race of mutant beings who have evolved on the planet Mars. I'm a big fan of uh, science fiction comics. That's all I read ever since I was like five. So I love pulp artwork and things like that. So I really use a lot of those images that I, I recall from childhood, things that scared me or things that, that uh, I, I felt very fascinating and drawn to visually, but non-offensive. You got a lot of nerve showing your face around here, Hauser. Look who's talking. Hey, Tony, give the big guy a break. Relax, you live long enough. Michael Ironside, an actor known for the intensity of his performances, portrays Richter, perhaps the most ruthless villain he has ever played. Yeah, Richter's a very obsessive character uh, who basically runs through this film, killing anything and destroying anything he gets in his way. Yeah, he's a wild card. He's a know-it-all. He's self-obsessed. Uh, he's not a good team player. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. After playing a corrupt corporate chief in RoboCop, Ronnie Cox gets the chance to portray a political heavy in Total Recall. Cohagen, the ultimate authority on Earth's Martian colony, the man who literally controls the life-giving air and water the people of Mars depend upon. He's the be-all and end-all on Mars. Uh, there, there is no limit to his powers on Mars. And. Uh, he relishes using that power. Arnold Schwarzenegger's dynamic screen presence provided an ideal match to Verhoeven's vision of the film's haunted character, Quaid. He moves from the first frame to the last frame. He never sits still. Just moving, moving, moving. Adventure after adventure, action after action, thrill after thrill. <laughs> You can't do a simple routine double implant. It's not my fault we hit a memory cap. They'll be here any minute. They should go off. What the hell is he talking about? I don't know. Let me go. Mr. Quaid, try to calm down. Uh, uh, my name is not Quaid. <laughs> 